it's clear that basically he was dealing in pharmaceutical ingredients for a long time, and that at some point, 2004, 2005, he, he was getting into these counterfeits. And, you know, the real solid numbers are really only from the last year of his business, where the Immigration and Customs Enforcement estimates that he had about $1.5 million in that last year that he would be selling in the U.S. and the U.K. L'argent des poches just means pocket change. Somebody had ordered medicine over the Internet, and it was sent in a envelope with this book to a normal customer who had no idea you know, where they were ordering the medicine from. Zhu was much more sophisticated, and his goal was to get these things on shelves and trick everybody involved. The guy in the front on the left is Patrick Ford, and um, he's a former FBI agent who's now pretty high up in uh, Pfizer's global security division. He's standing there with John Thomas, who's the head of the forensics lab uh, in Groton, Connecticut. And I think what's in his hand are counterfeit Viagra pills, Amy Callanan. And she's the senior scientist who actually specifically did the analysis on Zhu's phony Aricept medication. She's standing there with a IR spectroscopy machine, and she had ground up one of the uh, phony Aricept pills to create a spectrum for me and, and show me what it looked like. You can see uh, two lines. These are the two spectral. One of them is a uh, real Aricept, and the other one is Zhu's phony Aricept. The phony Aricept is the red one, and then the authentic one it should be the blue one. It had only about 75% of the active ingredients. The filler material, the stuff that holds the pills together, was different, however. What stands up in court is the packaging, because the packaging forensics is actually the easiest to sort of quantifiably demonstrate that there was a trademark infringement. There were spaces in the wrong places, which were kind of obvious tip-offs. See the instruction manual on the bottom right? There, there was an error there where, you know, it said, say médicament présenté sous, and that was all one word. One on the left is the counterfeit one, whereas the one on the right. You can see it's more consistent coat. It's a slightly lighter color, glossier, smoother. 